Hey Beauty Killians, and welcome back to my channel. I am Tasha from BeautyChameleon.com and if you're new, welcome. And if you're not, thank you for coming back and I'm so excited to talk to y'all today. In today's video, it was a special request video for one of my beautiful international subscribers. Um, her name is Jaya and she's from India and her YouTube channel, if you're not subscribed to her, you should really go check out her channel and subscribe. She is a very talented makeup artist out of um, India and um, she's breaking into the makeup artistry so congratulations to you. But check out her channel. Her channel is, if I'm saying this correctly, Chez12345 and I'll post the link about right here. And I also have a link in the info box but go check her out. She also does YouTube videos on makeup, um, dramatic makeup. She also has how to as far as skin care and all that fun stuff. So check out her channel. And she also has a blog, um, which is ches1234.blogspot.com. So go check her out. But anyway, she requested for me to share with you all and her my favorite MAC eyeshadows. So if you'd like to know my favorite MAC eyeshadows, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so welcome back. You guys, um, Jaya, you wanted to know, and many of you have wanted to know too, but my favorite MAC shadows. Like I say, I don't own that many MAC shadows. I could easily do so. I could send in my pro card and my transcripts and all that fun transcripts. Haha, <laughs> but just my <laughs> um, uh, letter to get the pro account. But I really don't choose to have a lot of MAC shadows. There's so many great makeup brands out there. So don't feel like you have to have every freaking MAC shadow I have here. There are so many grants out there to explore with, but if you're dying to know what I have, they are located in these three palettes, and I will share with you. So, for a warning, this might be a long video. <laughs> but anyway, I pretty much have my palettes, and as you see, three, and they're grouped in color tones. So, I'll start off with my neutral one. Again, I like to keep everything in palettes. If I'm traveling and I want to put like my favorite colors I use for day and nighttime looks, I will put them in a palette like these. And these you can find at your MAC store or MAC Pro store. I'm not too sure if you go to a counter. Um, if they would have these available, I believe these sell for either $11 or $14. Somebody please correct me. But I like these palettes. And these eyeshadows, you can purchase them instead of in a container so you don't have to worry about depotting you can just purchase them just like a single and you can pop them in here otherwise if you have a lot of shadows you need to depot just go pick up an empty palette have a deep potting party and just fill 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 but um this is my brown palette I love to have neutrals because you it's good to have neutrals if you're an aspiring makeup artist if you're going to be working with several clients for certain looks like wedding looks or just everyday look or your fresh natural looks it's nice to have some neutrals in your palette and a variety of like mattes um, your lusters and your shimmers um, in your collection now I'm going to tell you the color names because I know you guys are like well what's the name of the color tell me tell me tell me but I will say I'm not going to swatch all the colors what I will do for you guys is post a link in the info box below it'll lead you to my blog which is beauty Chameleon.com, and there I will have swatches of all the shadows per palette. Okay, so is that a deal? Fabulous. But anyway, <laughs> the very first shadow that I have is called Green. I am not too sure if the shadow is still available, but that's what Green looks like. I like to use it as a nice highlight to blend out any rough edges along where I contour in my crease area. Um, this is the satin color, so we'll have a sheen to it. It won't be completely matte, but it will not have all the glitters and all that fun stuff. This is a great highlight. Great to use in the inner corner of the eye as well to kind of open up the eye. My next color, I like to use this one either on the lid. This is called Broon. Um, again, this is available separate or in a, in a pan. If you buy them separately, they're about, I think, $11 versus $14.50 for the shadow in the pan. So you can save some money that way. But again, I like to use this for a smoky eye on my lids, a great crease color to contour. And also, if you're working with um, lighter skin tones, Caucasian, just to make a great brow color to fill in if you like to use brow powders on yourself or on your client. So this is Broom. I don't remember where I purchased this shadow. This is called 100 Strokes. This one's kind of like a um, satiny colored eyeshadow. It's more of a brown with hints of red and gold in it. So it's just going to come off a little bit of a um, satiny sparkly color. Again, I like to use this on my lid for a smoky eye. Sometimes in a crease as well. I wouldn't quite suggest to use this in the brow unless you're doing something extra fabulous and fun because this one has little sparkles in it. And to me, it's kind of natural to have sparkles in your brow. But, you know, that's just me talking. The next shadow is called Bamboo. 
This one's another nice all over lid color, a highlight color. It's matte, but I love this color again. It's just, this one has more of a peach or an ecru undertone compared to the very first one. That one's a great shadow that I love. If you want to be more shimmery on the lid or all over color, or even for deeper skin tones, it's a beautiful highlight. This is called Honey Lust. This is a luster, so you will see shimmers in, in this particular shadow. But this is a gorgeous shadow again for highlight. And then I'm sure everybody has this shadow. I've seen it on YouTube a lot. But this is Embark. This is a nice matte shadow. It's great for cutting, you know, contouring a crease. It's great as an eyeliner. It's great, again, for those skin tones that have brown um, brows or brunette brows, those Caucasian skin tones. This is perfect to keep in your kit or for yourself for filling in the brows if you cannot afford to go out and buy a brow powder that only comes with, like, a little bit of product. So I like that one. Moving on to... Soba. Again, a nice lid color. I love to use this on my lid for a neutral color. It's similar to what I have on my lid right now, but this is great. This one's a satin again, so we'll have a, a sheen to it. I like that one. Flip. I forget when this one came out. This one's kind of a nice... It's similar to Honey Lust. I believe this one's a little bit more pigmented than Honey Lust, but it's a frost. Again, a nice lid color or just a real fast all-over color just to brighten your eye out in the morning, but I love that color there. And then another matte. I like to keep a mixture of matte, satins, and lusters because sometimes if you're cutting in the crease, sometimes you put too much shimmer there. The camera flash is just horrible if you're going out for a special occasion. It requires a lot of pictures. But I love handwritten. This is another nice contour color in a crease, a nice eyeliner, again a nice brow color. For those of you that may color your hair and you want to lighten up the color of your brow with powder versus lightening with bleach, this is a great color. Handwritten. Handwritten. I can't talk. Ooh. <laughs> Another great highlight color is Orb. I love this color for the lid, um, inner corners, but definitely Orb is a gorgeous color to have. Let me get a little closer to have in your collection as well. I believe I purchased that one when, I don't know, to the Beach Collection. That's where that one came from. Another nice matte soft brown, great for the lid. Um, great for all over, especially if you're my skin tone, or even if you're lighter, this would be a great lid color. Deep, darker skin tones, I mean, try it. I haven't really played this on deeper skin tones before, but it may be a great highlight, but definitely try it. There's no rules. It's your skin. If you make it work, you make it work, right? And then this one also I bought during the To the Beach collection from MAC. Um, this is the Brown Script Shadow. This one has more of red undertones, almost terracotta, but this is a great matte color for an crease if you want like a play up on the peach um, coral tone. And then a couple of my brights I have here. This one was from the Style Warrior collection last season. This is Bright Future. This one's a Velux Pearl, so it has a sheen to it, so it's not going to be very packed and pigmented, but I like that color as well. And then for a little fiery orange, this is Fire Spot. This one, I believe, I got a CCO. So this is an old one. This one's a Velux Pearl as well, but it's beautiful for playing, playing up the trend in fall. You know how autumn comes around, and if you live in the area where your trees start to change colors, like when I used to live in Wisconsin, I loved um, when autumn came because there were so many different colors of leaves and trees. This kind of reminds me of that color for fall, but I like Fire Spot. And then um, this one, I believe, is also from the To The Beach collection, or To The Beach, I can't remember. But it's called Firecracker, another Lux Pearl, another color you can play again with this fall. But those are my colors from my neutral palette. So, moving on. The next palette I'm going to show you are like my favorite kind of blues and greens and um, sagey tones. So let's take a look see. Again, I am not going to do swatches again. I will definitely post swatches on my blog in the info box below. But these are my favorite blues and greens. Um, and again, there you will see some highlight colors in here as well. Um, some of these I'm not too sure if they're still available, but um, you can find similar colors. Like this one is called Right of Spring. This one's going to be more of a Velux Pearl. This is a great highlight, inner outer, inner corner color for the eye. Um, lid color would have you, depending on your skin tone, you can definitely make it work. Again, it's also nice to have some matte, matte, I can't talk, shadows because I feel like they pick up a lot of pigment when you're playing with intense looks. I love clarity. This is a nice 
matte blue. It's really beautiful. Definitely have that in your collection. Fun for those dramatic looks, you know. Another color of mine I like is climate blue. I'm not too sure if this is discontinued or not, but I like this color. This one's again going to be more of a velvet shadow, so it has a little sparkle to it. Almost, It almost has like a purple undertone, but I like climate blue. And... Of course, I don't know why I bought Aqua Desiac because I have the Hello Kitty palette, the um, Two Dolly. Yeah, Two Dolly. And this looks just like one of the colors in there. This is Aqua Desiac, another gorgeous color for playing up some bright blues. This again, I believe it's going to be more of a um, Velux Pearl or a Satin, but I like that color. Golf Streams, another nice kind of turquoise green undertone blue. This one's going to be a frost, so it's really fun to play up You know those bold colors in a lid or if you want to do a gradient lid. I love this. And this shadow here is called Fresh Water. This is another um, Velux Pearl. Again, if you want more of a shimmer versus matte on the lid or anywhere in the eye, this is a very beautiful blue to have in your collection. Or if you have something similar, you know, stop from there. But those are like my favorite blues. Now the last few shadows, um, I believe these two rows are MAC shadows. These last three I won't talk about because they're not MAC shadowed. I just happen to use this palette to fill it up. So I have some colors from, I think, Lorac Cosmetics. I think this one is um, Smashbox. And I believe this one's also another old Smashbox shadow. So I won't talk about those since they're not MAC. I'll finish up these and move on to my other palette just to keep the video short. <laughs> but, um, hmm. This one's also a no name. This one's not a MAC shadow as well. So I will skip that one as well. But I believe this one is either an Urban Decay shadow. I don't remember, but we'll skip that. This one here is a MAC shadow. I forget which collection. I think it was a Sugar Sweet collection. But this one's called Club. A gorgeous crease color or lid color for smoky eyes. Kind of a green with brown undertones to it or green undertones to it. This one's nice. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to find that one again, but I'm sure you can find a dupe of that. This one's also an old color. This is Femme Noir, and it's a Velux. Um, it's a gorgeous, like, sea green color, or more of an army green. Let me take that back. It's more of an army green, but I like to use that in the crease area of my eye. And then the last few shadows. I should be ashamed of myself. I haven't even played or created a look for you guys with this color. This one's rated R. I forget the collection. <laughs> So don't laugh at me, but it's a gorgeous, I love this green. You could do a beautiful look with this on the lid. You can do a dramatic look, but I love this one. And then the last two MAC shadows is one off. Another, um, this is from Star Flash Collection. That's what that is from. But this is um, the green from there. And I believe that may be the last of my MAC shadows. Yes, because the rest of them are... That's flip side from Urban Decay. Um, this one is, I don't remember. Looks like a no name. This one is Smashbox. And this is Lorac. And I believe that Lorac one is called Star Quality. Yeah, Star Quality. This is a very, I'll say, is a very shimmery, high shine um, color you can use for highlight. Or if you lighter skin tone or Caucasian, it'd be a great lid color to brighten and open up your eyes. But that is my blues and green. And then my last palette I would talk to you about is going to be more of my purples and my black or monochromatic tones, so we'll move on to that. Okay, so on to my last palette. This palette is going to consist of more of my purples, pinks, and my monochromatic grays and blacks. Um, again, some of these, most of these are going to be my MAC shadows, and there's a few that are more of my Smashbox and Urban Decay shadows that I will, they fit in here too. So if you have Urban Decay and um, Smashbox, Smashbox, I can't talk, good gravy, but if you have Urban Decay and Smashbox eyeshadows, they will fit in the MAC palettes for sure. But, for a nice white, this one's not a matte, but it's going to be more of a um, Luxe Pearl. This is um, Crystal Avalanche. It's a gorgeous white. If you want to play up a nice highlight, bold look, love that one. If you want to have more of a gray look, and I actually have grays on my eyes right now. This is the color I'm wearing today. This is called um, Silver Ring. Love this color. To me, it looks like a Velux Pearl or more of a luster shadow, but it's a nice um, gray to play up like a nice daytime look. And of course, this is Carbon. Everybody has to have a matte black. And I'll have to tell you, I kind of like, this is my Smashbox, and this is called Blackout. 
This one is much richer than the carbon. So if y'all looking for a deep black, especially my brown, dark brown skin sisters out there, go to Smashbox Cosmetic and check out Blackout. That is the most richest black I've ever played with, okay? So remember that. Um, the shadow up here, I think this one is called CD Pearl. It's kind of a pinky white um, frost color. That's a really pretty one for um, highlight if you're playing with pinks and purples. And again, there's no rules. You can play with any color and it, it'll be beautiful. This is Parfait Amour. This one's also a frost. kind of like a purpley color there. And of course, I will have a matte color. And you've guys probably seen these in several tutorials. I love Graphology. This is my most favorite matte purple for a little intensity in my crease. And this one's called Swish. I forget this one looks like a Velux Pearl to me or more of a uh, frost, but this is gorgeous. Creme de Violet. Uh, let me stop. I don't speak a lick of French, but <laughs> it's Creme de Violet. It is a frost. This is a gorgeous um, violet tone, purple with little pink undertones to it. And that didn't make any sense, but that's okay. <laughs> this one's Vibrant and Grape, and I believe this one's also from the Style Warriors collection. Love that as well. And let's see, the bling. That's gorgeous. A nice soft pink again. I like pinks, you guys. Can't tell. And this is my favorite. This is called Sushi Flower. I love this shadow. This nice satin. And the last shadows, of course, I will tell you they're not MAC. Let's see. This one's my favorite Lorac color. I believe they discontinued it from Lorac Cosmetics. They also have some great shadows, so check out Lorac Cosmetics. This is called Nude. But you can find any matte vanilla. Any matte color will work for that. That's a matte color. Um, this shadow is Cherry from Urban Decay. And this one definitely has a lot of shimmer, you guys. A lot of those micro shimmer glitters in there. That's what's in there. But that's Cherry. This is Smashbox. Um, I can't think of the color. Let me just look at it then. Cabernet. I love this Cabernet. I think I used it in one of my previous tutorials. But this is Cabernet. And then my favorite, most favorite, and guess what? It will be on the counters this fall at Sephora's, but Blackout from Smashbox Cosmetics. Definitely have that in your collection. But anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed a glimpse through my MAC eyeshadows. These are like my favorites. And honestly, I don't feel like I need any more MAC eyeshadows, really. Um, this is probably going to be all the MAC shadows I buy unless something totally outstanding comes out. But, um... I'm going to venture out my collection to Makeup Forever and some other brands and give them a try. But, um, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful to you all. If you're a MAC fan or you like to shop MAC and you're kind of looking for colors that's close to your skin tone or close similar to my skin tone if your skin's the same or you just want to build up your collection if you're an aspiring makeup artist, definitely um, check these out. You know, Otherwise, if you have colors similar to these in your collection, don't feel you need to buy the same exact shadow that I do in each video. If you have something similar, just break that out and you'll be all good to go. But anyway, you guys, I thank you all so much for coming back to my channel, watching my videos, and if you have some special requests, follow me. Feel free to um, leave some comments below. Also, if you have some of your favorite MAC eyeshadows, um, let us know. Leave some comments below. Um, leave some comments at beautychameleon.com. And also, if you're a YouTube video maker and you have some favorite MAC eyeshadows you'd like to share with us here, post a video, video response below. If you film videos, upload a video response to this video and share with everybody your channel and your favorite MAC shadows. But anyway, you guys, I better get going. It's going to be time to pick up my little one from school. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Hey Beauty Chameleons, welcome back to my channel. I am Tasha from BeautyChameleon.com and today's video is actually a requested video for one of my beautiful subscribers. Little. <sighs>